what is the level of depth or technical depth that uh, an AI product manager has to go? I have responded this a number of times, but today I want to show you, I want to respond this with the, with a practical example. So here I am, I'm working on a project and uh, some of the elements of this project, uh, of course, are connected to AI, developing very performing algorithms and all that. But here is the catch. We need to create a certain specific mobile app that has a certain specific outcome for the user is basically recommending something but is the algorithm the only thing that matters or is the user experience flash algorithms the one thing that matters so of course it is ultimately the experience that you give to the user in that very moment understanding that that is a moment of confusion trying to bring to the user some level of clarity and so you need to have a response that is pretty quickly and uh, that comes very quickly in front of the user. And, and therefore, uh, you need to start thinking, uh, is the most powerful algorithm of the world the one thing that we really need here? Is, is perhaps the architecture of my system the one thing that constitutes a bottleneck in the user experience? Is the design that constitutes instead something where, where I have to work on and maybe I can live with the not so high performing AI behind the, the behind the curtains. These are really the type of uh, uh, decisions that as an AI product manager or as a, a if you like a AI business orchestrator you're gonna face and this is really the the level where engineers and the more technical people even though they understand all of this may be much better than you. They tend to miss the oversight of what's going on. And they certainly typically miss these nuances of understanding in what state of mind is the user, what type of user experience I need there. And when we talk about user experience, we're not talking just about the design. You know, the design is one part of it, but it's also the responsibility of the systems. It is the clarity of the information. It is the copy that I'm going to show in that particular experience. It is how the layout of the page is, what it is that the eye will perceive as more important and where will focus the attention of the user and how all of this plays back to the artificial intelligence. This is uh, something that it's not easy. It comes to, one, it comes with experience uh, by all means, but it also comes with knowledge because if you just understand the UX part of it and you think this is a beautiful user experience, you might miss what the technology can do on the other side and come up with a design that doesn't really fit with the artificial intelligence uh, capabilities of today or of, of your specific team. Because, you know, one thing is what Apple can do, one thing is what Google can do or on a certain a group of Google. And another thing is what your team in your company could do. They, they could be different. So you need to understand the difference. And uh, therefore, it is extremely, extremely important, in my opinion, that you have an handle on at least the system level um, architecture. And you understand what a specific business goal translates into user experience and how that user experience then defines the underlying system engineering. You don't need to know the math of the algorithm, but you need to understand how all these things play together because think a product that works and that satisfies the user, especially in the domain, in those domains where the user experience is particularly relevant, it is us uh, cooking, it is us being a chef in a restaurant. That's the reason why I came up with this idea to create a really a curriculum that is at the interface of business design and AI technology that really with practical examples explains you what the reality is and it also helps you develop a mindset because it's really the mindset is what makes the difference is once you start thinking in a certain way then the knowledge the know-how will come and so this curriculum if you're interested is available on inodemia.com otherwise uh, i look forward to seeing you at the next episode bye bye <laughs>